Hey everyone, we are back with Naomi and we are going to be finishing our series. We're going to be talking about EOS. Um, what's interesting uh, is, Naomi, have you noticed how bad the crypto market is getting crushed since the last time we were here? It's been sucking ass. Oh, fuck. I can't cuss, right? Yeah, try not to cuss. But yeah, our, uh, our when we were creating the video, I think like a month ago, it was like t over 200 million market cap. Now the market cap is 188. So yeah, it's not too good. So let's just click on EOS and go over it. So do you remember how I was telling you the difference between first generation cryptos and second generation cryptos? Do you remember that? Yeah, this is the second gen, right? Yeah, good for you. Yes. So remember the top four coins that we went over, they were all first generation except ethereum and so eos is a competitor to ethereum and so eos is the competitor yeah ethereum. and uh that's, that's key key knowledge key knowledge key knowledge and so eos right now is like four dollars and 85 cents what's interesting is if you had bought eos in march no april was when it hit the high so in april you could have bought eos for like almost twenty dollars. Yeah, it went over twenty dollars. So it's gone down basically to one to one fourth the value. Um, actually, the peak. No, it was, yeah, it was twenty one dollars at the peak, I believe. So it's a second generation crypto. It's basically trying to copy or try to compete with Ethereum. And let's click on the white paper. So if you guys go to Coin Market Cap, you can click on this little button right here called the website of EOS, and it should have a white paper. Let me see if I can find it. Um, so it's supposed to be the most powerful infrastructure to compete with uh, Ethereum. So let's see on resources if it has. So it doesn't have its white paper, but uh, what I know about EOS is that its development team is what is really kind of giving it a lot of hype. And that's why it's seen as the competitor to Ethereum. But if you want to compare numbers, Ethereum has raised a lot more capital and has a lot more money. So for now, uh, Ethereum is a larger coin and it's just the first mover to the market. It you know, obviously got discovered or it's been worked on first. But um, there's a lot of issues with Ethereum's technology. And it's the biggest problem that you want to know, it's scaling. The problem with all these cryptos is like once there's like a million, two million, three million people um, trying to... Uh, use it, um, it slows down. And uh, that's like basically a big problem. And EOS is trying to be more efficient and have better scaling um, usage than Ethereum. So if a million people decide to go on EOS's network, it's technically or theoretically going to be faster and more efficient than Ethereum. Cool? I agree. So the analogy is like they're trying to be like in and out, right? Like McDonald's, I guess, would be would be the big boy, right? And EOS is like, well, we're going to make a better burger. It's going to be more efficient and faster, even though in and out burger sometimes isn't as fast as McDonald's. But cool. Okay, so that yeah, is our video. First, and, go ahead. Oh, what were you that's saying? That's our video. That's our video. We're going to so go to the Ethereum next was crypto. The first gen. It was the first gen. This, this was the second. Correct. So let's go on to number six which is stellar we're gonna do yeah okay cool so our next video will be on stellar